The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Grady White's Canyon 306 is a boat that combines rugged, sport fishing character with a level of comfort and accommodation in design that means it could double as a family boat as well. At 30 feet 6 inches length overall and a 10 foot 7 inch beam, the Canyon 306's CV2 hull design is intended to give a good ride in choppy conditions at high speeds, while still maintaining stability at trolling speeds. As her name implies, she's designed to run out to the canyons 100 miles or more offshore and come home safely. She has an array of features that cater to the fishermen without ruling out a more social, family-oriented cruising or entertaining capability. The layout in the Canyon 306's bow means walk-up access to the anchor locker, windlass, and controls. The space has a flush, non-skid surface. There are two pull-up cleats, a nav light forward, and a flush mounted hatch for a windlass. Inside a safety latch, cleat, and foot controls are just outside to starboard. Additional windlass controls can also be found at the helm. Just behind, the bow has seating to port and starboard, with bolsters around the top of the gunnels, grab rails, cup holders forward on each side, and optional adjustable backrests on the seating that family will enjoy. The seating is padded, and the Canyon 306 offers the option to fill the footwell with a cushion for a sun pad or fishing platform. The seats lift up to access two 150 quart insulated fish boxes on each side that drain overboard. The lids have gas assisted struts. Freshwater access is to starboard with a raw water hookup to port. Also note the speakers and the gunnels on each side. From the cockpit to the fish boxes to the live wells, coolers, and head all drain overboard to make the boat easy to clean and maintain. Moving aft from the bow seating, we reach the center console, which has a forward facing seat molded in. The Canyon 306 features full height, scratch resistant acrylic windshield. It comes standard with a freshwater washdown and a windshield wiper. The standard T-top comes with welcome overhead handholds. Note the aluminum supports are anchored into the console itself and not on the deck, which maximizes deck space and eliminates a tripping hazard. Outriggers can be installed to the hardtop. Underneath the T-top, there are lights, speakers, an electronics box, and netted storage. To starboard of the center console, there is entry to the day head, which stays open with the help of a magnet. There's a seagrass lined step leading down to a teak lined deck. Inside, there's 71 inches of headroom, a mirror, sink with faucet that doubles as a shower head, countertop, latch storage below, netted storage above, and a port light. A marine head with electric flush with 10 gallons of holding tank pump out of standard. Grady White has added recessed lighting inside as well. Moving to the helm, there are standard hydraulic trim tabs with indicators. Our test boat also had an optional Garmin autopilot, electronics for fish finding and navigating, and an engine readout display. I like all the rocker switches for accessories, pumps, and equipment at the top of the dash where they're easy to see and reach with the compass in the center. One major option of the Canyon 306 comes via the convenience package with battery charger and dockside power with galvanic isolator. Another option is the Hellmaster package. It comes with ignition control, joystick docking, and the information center readout. This package essentially digitizes much of the control function of the boat and makes it easier to dock. Our test boat had all of this gear. The steering wheel is stainless steel with a spinner knob. The helm seating comes with captain's and companion seats that both feature flip-up bolsters, armrests, and the ability to adjust forward or aft. A hatch in between the seats lifts up to reveal storage space, and down below are footrests that can lift up when not in use. Speakers are below. Just behind the helm seating is a 47-gallon insulated raw water live well with a light, a full column distribution, and an overboard drain. This is accessed via a small latch on the countertop. The port on the same countertop is a latch for the freshwater sink, which has a pull-out faucet for any and all messy saltwater fishing scenarios that will arise. Just below these is lockable storage. One is stocked with tackle trays, while the other is more all-purpose. This rigging station also has two rod holders to port and starboard of the center hatches. The gunnels have dedicated rod storage below, great for keeping them secure, but easy to access. Grady White also adds tow rails and bolsters for added comfort and security. Further, there is a horizontal rod storage locker with a lockable latch in the gunnels. To both port and starboard, there are three stainless steel rod holders in each of the cap rails. In the port quarter, we find two handy battery switches and a raw water washdown hose, and even a step that flips out from the bulwarks that can also act as a seat. Along the transom is a large standard fold-out bench seat. Behind the seating port side are pop-up cleats and a cutting board surface right alongside the 304 quart fish box. That includes turn and lock latches with gas assisted struts. To starboard is a cup holder and freshwater washdown. 
further to starboard alongside the transom there is a 30 amp shore power connection with a freshwater fill and two engine flush mounts on the opposite bulkhead. Note the four cockpit drains that flow overboard. Access to the stern comes through a thick transom door with a heavy duty latch. The first thing encountered when stepping through is the aft reboarding ladder on the boat's swim platform. The Canyon 306 comes with the option of three different Yamaha four-stroke outboard engines, ranging up to a total of 700 horsepower. The integrated outboard mounting system doubles as a swim platform. Our test boat had twin Yamaha four-stroke V8350s with the optional Hellmaster system installed. The vessel has a dry weight of 6,950 pounds without the engines. With two people aboard and 145 gallons of fuel, our test boat weighed in at 9,780 pounds. In our test, the Canyon 306 handled well in all maneuvers and exhibited no bad habits or surprises, but test conditions were not challenging that day. Swinging to a Yamaha's 15.5 inch diameter by 19 inch pitch SDS series props in near glass-like conditions, we recorded a top speed of 58.1 miles per hour at 6,000 RPM. Best Cruise came in at 3,000 RPM where she went 26.2 miles per hour and burned 16.1 gallons per hour for a total range of 424 miles with a 10% reserve. We recorded a time to plane of 2.7 seconds, 4.6 seconds to 20 knots, 6.5 seconds to 30 knots, 10.1 seconds to 40 knots, and 15.1 seconds to 50 knots. One thing that was clear was how much the Hellmaster system added to the ease of maneuverability and navigation. Backing into the dock is worlds easier with the use of the joystick. The Hellmaster even moves the boat directly sideways off the dock with ease. In my opinion, the Grady White 306 Canyon is one of a small handful of the very best built and executed boats in class. She costs more, but all boats do in that category, as they must. Virtually everything on the boat is done right and with industry best practices used. Well that's our test and inspection of Grady White's Canyon 306. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Reed.